Ah, look at that pond weed start to spread. It is looking so much greener over here at Frog Creek, everybody. And welcome back to another Specimen Saturday. I'm so excited to give you guys a little update on how the eggs are doing. So we saw the eggs when they were just teensy little dots. We saw the eggs uh, as they started to develop more tadpole form within the, the, the gel capsule of their egg membrane. And now we're going to see if we can find some tadpoles. So the creek is full of tadpoles. It's very cold cold today though so I haven't seen very many but I have brought with me a trusty empty peanut butter jar and we're going to use it to try to scoop up some tadpoles very gently so we can get a closer clean look at what they currently look like at their stage of development so I'm very excited uh, it's kind of tricky to find some because you see a couple days ago you could look out on this and see just tons and tons of tadpoles but now I'm going to have to do a little bit more hunting because I believe they're further under the leaf litter right now since it is a very cold day and they want to stay pretty warm. So I'm going to try to find some for you and if I have any luck <laughs> then we will be able to make a cool little video showing off uh, hopefully their, their nice tails. They've got some nice tails right now. Uh, maybe even their little eyes. I love it when their eyes really start to be very apparent on the tops of their heads. So that's really fun. It's very quiet. Yeah, no frog noises, just the distant bleeding of a car. <laughs> it is very quiet over here because it is so cold. The frog, And it's kind of the middle of the afternoon, and I've noticed that the frogs tend to appreciate coming out more at night. If you guys have um, been watching my vlog channel series Greenhouse, you can find a link to it on the main page, like the main channel page, if you guys are like, what are you talking about? Because the Greenhouse is where I've been posting tons and tons of miniature updates. Uh, little updates of the creek and how they're doing. I've been posting audio of the frogs. I think there's like one frog. Is it going to make noise again? No, just as I talk about him. Dang it, Mr. Frog. <laughs> I think there's like one frog out here that just keeps... That? Did you guys hear that? Making a really low, like, sound. So that's pretty cool. But I like seeing how this place is starting to warm up for spring. It is April 2nd here, so you guys are going to see this tomorrow, April 3rd. And it's still very, very cold up here in the Appalachian Mountains. So there's not a lot of um, growth yet. The trees are just starting to think about putting some leaves out. Nobody who's a flowering tree or bush is currently flowering, unfortunately. And down at the foothills, where I was just visiting my aunt, their trees have already leafed out, flowered out, and gone back to being leaves. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll have to see how this changes over here. But I think it's really fascinating. To there he is again. Did you guys hear him? I think it's really fascinating to see how the frogs have gotten kind of a jump start, no pun intended, on getting ready for spring. And I think it's really interesting how it's hit freezing temperatures a few times since we've seen the spawn eggs, but they seem to be doing just fine. That might actually be one of the reasons there are so many spawn eggs. And there's even still a few, I think, from different species of frogs. Like, let me see, you see that white dot right there? That's a pile of spawn eggs out in the middle. And it looks totally different from the two spawn eggs that Darling and I found, uh, the two spawn spots that Darling and I have found already. So, no frogs making noise, but I'm going to get into the creek, even though I really need something more than sandals. <laughs> I need to get some proper wading boots. And I'm going to see if I can find some tadpoles to share the absolute awesomeness that is their metamorphosis with you guys. So one second. All right, and we lucked out with a couple tadpoles. We actually got two different kinds this time around. One of which, and you see all those things moving? Those are not actually tadpoles. Those are other little water creatures. Look at them go. They're so fast. These guys are in the creek. But right here, hang on guys, let me see if I can get in real nice and close on him because he is so amazingly tiny. Right here is one of the tadpoles. Look how tiny he is. That's my thumbnail right there. And there's another one. So he looks like he's fresh hatched or another species. And there's a much larger tadpole right here. You see how much bigger he is? And you see how he is seeking refuge and cover under the only leaf litter that got scooped up into the jar. 
So yeah, sorry, it's a little hard to focus on him because again, even though he is so much bigger than the other guy, he is still amazingly tiny. Let's see if this helps. Come on. There we go. I mean, look at him. Look at that adorable little tail <laughs> that is starting to form legs. You can see kind of right there, he's starting to get a little bit of leg going on. And you can see his fin, his tail, is starting to get larger and larger. It's no longer just a little flagella, a little, little itty bitty string zipping around. Oh, look, and there goes the little guy. Where'd he go? He's off. He's circling the jar. But yeah, so this is how the tadpoles are developing. They're really hard to find now because they hide under the leaf litter and they're kind of making sure that they're out of the way of any predators and they're not as laissez-faire as they used to be. They're a lot trickier to find. Uh, you used to be able to look into the creek a couple days ago and they were just all over the place. But now you really have to hunt for them. And we managed to find this guy and he is very clever. He says, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to hide. I'm going to be a good tadpole. I'm going to try to survive because there's lots and lots of stuff currently eating them. Will you say hello to everyone just a bit more? I want to see if we can see his developing facial structure where he'll have uh, his eyes start popping out a little bit and his mouth. Why do you guys always hide on the, the dots? Whoop! There he goes. He's off. Where he will stop. Ah, That's a good spot. Stay right there, buddy. Can you stay right there for me? Hold still. Let's see if we can get a good look at you. And you can see again those little, little water, creek water beetles, really teensy little ones. Just popping up out of the ground. Look at you. Yeah, that's a really nice look. You can actually see the small itty bitty bumps where his eyes are coming in. You can see his developing tail again. That's very important. That's his lifeline right now to move around and escape predation. So thank you very much, little guy. I'm going to see if I can find some more specimen examples. So just one second, guys. This was a much more successful scoop. I saw these guys all resting on a leaf together and managed to get them out. So we can see several different examples of what seems to be the same species of tadpole and they seem to mostly be in the same stage of development but if you look at the guy right there for a second his tail looked smaller but I think it was just the lighting but yeah look at him go so this is the next stage of life they're going to be working on being little little fin buddies and you can actually on these ones let me see if I can get a good angle oh everyone's so excited I know I'm sorry it's for the sake of science. Look at their legs! You can see their legs. Did you see it? Oh, all their tiny little legs. Look at them dart around. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Look, you can see the developing body on this one. And think about how amazing that is. A lot of animals just tend to be the shape that they're going to be as adults and grow into that. But these guys completely metamorphosize their bodies. They completely break down their body. They get rid of old pieces. They grow new pieces. It's an amazing process that just represents a wonderful adaptation to life. And look at that. Look at that tiny little leg. Let me see if I can point right there. And you can see the little teeny mouth and the eyes and everybody is hiding at the other end of the jar. What if I do this? Will you guys come over like my birds? No, they're just like, oh, that's a place to hide. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at your chunky little belly. Oh, look at these guys. And remember, guys, I mean, think about that metamorphosis again. We have seen these little ones since they were nothing but dots in an egg. And now look, now you can kind of see the cranky frog eyes and the cranky frog mouth, the cranky frog glare. Hi, everybody. Can I get, oh, see, look at all of them. They're so beautiful, and they're undergoing so many amazing transformations. Probably hundreds of the tadpoles that have already hatched have already, um, have already died off, have already disappeared, and they know where I am. See how they're using their eyes to figure out. Hello! Hi! Hi! Where the big predator is. So they, they keep going to the end of the jar that they assume to be safest. Hang on guys. 
I know, I'll stop stressing you out very shortly because this is unfair to them. But it is also very important so you guys gain a deeper appreciation for the natural world, for what is out there, for the process that they undergo to become the amazing frogs that make all that noise. And they will repeat the process themselves probably next year once they're all grown. What's up? It depends on the species. Oh, look at you and your beautiful tails. But yeah, it depends on the species of frog that they are. But I think that they're amazing. I love their beautiful, beautiful tails. I love the development of their legs. Darling told me I can't keep a couple <laughs> to watch their metamorphosis uh, in our home, which I totally appreciate because they are wild animals and we're going to put them back now. But there you go, guys. Some tadpoles in a jar. I love it.